Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve maximum multiple sum. Question B from Code Forces Round 952, Division 4. So you're given an integer n, and then you need to find an integer x such that x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to n. And also the sum of multiples of x that are less than or equal to n is maximized. Formally, x plus 2x plus 3x plus uh, on and on until kx, where kx, just kx is less than or equal to n. And th that's maximized over all possible values of x. So you're given n less than or equal to 100, greater than or equal to 2, and you need to output an integer of the optimal value of x, and it's shown that there's only one unique answer. So if we look at 3, if n equals 3, then the optimal answer is 3, because... There's two possible values you can choose for x, 2 and 3. And the sum x plus 2, x plus 3, x, all the way to kx for 2. Uh, k can only be 1, so then the sum would be 2. And for 3, then the sum would be 3. So 3 is the optimal x value. And then for like n equals 15, the optimal value of x is 2, because the sum of all multiples 2 less than or equal to n is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14, which is 56. And that's the maximum value of all possible values of x. And then, so there's multiple ways to do this problem. So you can, you can brute force it since n is less than or equal to 100. So you can just do like an n squared brute force. And there's probably even some more optimized ways of doing brute force. But there's also a very straightforward way of just greedy, where you can just like, well, it, if, you, if you just do a little bit of math, then if n equals 3, that's the only case where it's not going to be 2, where it's going to be 3. Otherwise, the answer is always going to be 2. And, and we can think about it because, like, for example, if we did, x, if we did n equals 4, then, you, then 2 will always have more. 2 will always have a higher k value than any other number because like three we already took care of that case because three two, then two and three both have a k equals one but for any value greater than three or if it's two because then two is the only possible but if it's if anything greater than three then the two will always have more k's which then will add up to be a lot more so yeah, so you just print out, if n equals 3, then we print out 3, otherwise you print out 2. So yeah, that's how you do maximum multiple sum. Question B from Code Forces around 952 Division 4. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.